What is good everybody, welcome back to another Money and Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new AEW Unrivaled set review on the AEW Unrivaled series number 12, Entire Wave. Yes, we're doing the entire wave in one full swoop here. Hopefully YouTube will break it up, you guys will be able to see exactly where each figure is individually. But we're going to break down this full wave, man, and at the end we're going to rank this set from worst to best in my own personal opinion, so stay tuned for that. If you guys are interested in AEW Unrivaled 12 already, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But I figured, since we got this in the Greatest Hits wave and there's been a lot of time that's kind of went by, I'm going to go ahead and knock them all out in one full swoop review. You guys that enjoy the long set reviews, you guys can just sit back, relax, grab a cold beverage, preferably diet doozy, and we're going to break down this entire wave, man. But I just figured Un Unrivaled 12, I don't know how I feel about this set. I think it's a, it's an okay set. I'm, I'm disappointed in like half the wave, so that's probably why I'm just kind of bummed out about the set overall. However, we won't know until we crack them all out of their packaging, get into the details of the set, find know what they're all about, but let's go ahead and take a look at every single figure in its men on card status, and then we'll unbox these guys. So first up, we do have Dax Harwood. He is uh, probably my least favorite in the set, at least at this juncture before I break him out of the packaging. Him and Cash are both just so similar to their last figures that I'm just not intrigued with these, man. I just, you know what I mean? Like, their head sculpts are the same. We did get, like, some new screaming expressions with these guys, but their last head sculpts were so bad, I changed them for the Mattel ones, and now we're getting them again. We're finally finishing off our all-white, purple, and white pinnacle gear set here, which we're going to take a look at the full guys together so you guys can check that out. But there are these two guys. Not looking forward to these guys very much, man. We'll, we'll see how they go, though. But next up is John Moxley. Now, I know for a fact this guy is going to be stained to all hell when I put him out of the packaging. That is very unfortunate. Unless you have a Mox that doesn't have any staining on the torso or whatever, you're going to lose some tattoos. But I guess you could buy this one and then torso swap it if you wanted to. But that's just unfortunate. I do like this gear and the shirt, but it's just so annoying that you're going to have to deal with staining more than likely. So, there's John Moxley. We also have Private Party. These are probably the ones, these are probably the ones that I'm most looking forward to. I just, you know, we've been waiting on these guys for a long time. They get Life of the Party shirts in white. I don't think they're going to stain. You have black pants, you have white pants, you got Mark Quinn, you got Isaiah Cassidy. These look pretty sweet. These are the ones I'm most looking forward to, but we won't know until we crack them out of their packaging, but there's the two guys there. They look pretty damn good. They are number 107 and 108, and I did line them up in order. You got FTR. Oh my God, did I? Okay, hopefully this was right beforehand. But the last one is going to be Jamie Hayter. And this is a very nice figure. A lot of people looking forward to this one. I feel like their female figures, for the most part, are pretty good. I wish they'd go to pinless joints, but I don't know, man. A lot of people are worried about the AEW line. I don't know how worried I am about it, but I do I do want to see things get better for them because I think there's so many great talents over there and there's so many guys I want figures of. But nonetheless, man, let's crack all of these guys out of the packaging. Let's find out what the hell this entire set's all about. Dive into them one by one and get into their accessories series, their figures, could do some comparisons, and check out AEW Unraveled Series 12 from top to bottom, and then rank them from worst to best. Alright guys, so here's AEW Unrivaled 12 out of the packaging. Lots of stuff going on with this wave. Some things I like, some things I don't like, and I gotta be real, there's a lot of things I don't like. I'm, I'm just gonna give it to you right quick. There is a lot of things about this wave that I am just genuinely not excited about. I think another ranking video that would be cool is ranking every single AEW set. So that would give us, what, like 6, 7 AEW Unmatched sets, and then you'd have 12 Unrivaled sets. So we'd have like 20 sets, maybe worth looking at one day, but I gotta get done with that Elite ranking, man. That video video is taking me forever. It, it is a, it is, it, it has taken up a massive amount of space on my computer. It is a massive project. Nonetheless, man, here we have, we have FTR here. Boo. Figures, boo. Real people, yes. Figures suck. The wrestlers are good, though. These figures, though, not so much. But the guys are cool. Not you. Yeah, you. These figures. You suck. All right. Then we have Mox. Woof. Then we have Private Party. Disappointment. Then we have Jamie Hayter. Okay, let's get into it. Let's start off with FTR. These figures, man, I just don't like the head sculpts. The bodies are very, like, odd. I just, like, Mattel, don't get me wrong, Mattel didn't really do it right either. Mattel had these guys looking like 12-year-old children, but these, like, I like these body molds. The figures just aren't aesthetically nice. They're just not. It's really their head sculpts that bother me the most because, you know, I think these are pretty accurate bodies to to FTR for the most part. I don't like this big elbow sleeve they got on here. I mean, it's like an elbow brace practically. And with this on here, you're not doing nothing with this arm, man. You're just not. I mean, it is it is practically a cast on his arm now. So, I mean, there's that. You can remove it, but I guess, I guess it's, it's a nice addition to see that's different, but I don't know. You have a black elbow pad here on the right side, white wrist tape. You have pretty much 
the exact same gear we saw last time on his figure, except the D is over here, and then on the back you have FTR, which is okay. This is what his figure looked like last time. Nothing on the back, and then a red D over there. So they're very, very similar. I mean, dude, these are so similar to their last figures, it's it's insanity. I have a feeling these are going to shelf warm, just, just Hall of Fame level shelf warm, but we will see. Pinnacle knee pad, white knee pads, knee brace, black and white boots. I don't know, man. They're just, they're pretty stiff, which I guess is better than being super loose. But with this <laughs> with this elbow brace on here, this knee brace over here that's kind of falling down. I don't know, man. These are just not, uh, they're not the best. They're definitely not the best. And then you have Cash over here, which I do kind of enjoy the screaming head sculpt. You know, it's better than the last one. But for his comparison, we're going to do a comparison with the whole pinnacle and everything like that. But here's the last one. You guys can see, I again, I put the Mattel head sculpts on there. I'm glad he actually has white wrist tape this time. But the trunks, nothing on the back. And then Cash on the front. White gear with a color, again, for FTR. And these figures are some of the worst shelf warmers you'll see with the red jackets and everything, man. But they have pretty much the same knee pads. These are a little bit smaller. And then he has black boots with white laces instead of black boots with white outsoles. There goes the knee brace again. But these guys are just not the best, man. And if you guys want side-by-side -side comparison, here they are up next to their others. Let's zoom in shot here. Again, I replaced the Series 7 Unrivaled FTR with their Mattel head sculpts just to see how it would go. And it, it's okay, I guess. I just, I don't know, man. These figures are just not some of the best you'll see from AEW, you know, and that's just the way it is. It's the way the cookie crumbles here. I would say I do like the Unrivaled 12 better than the Unrivaled 7. I think not having wrist tape, I think the gear is slightly better on the purple. I like the purple and white and black better than the red, black, and white. And it actually says FTR on their butt compared to nothingness. So, yeah, there's that. But let's take a look at the full pinnacle up next to each other. And there is the shot. There's the shot of the full pinnacle. They're all in their white and purple. They all look really clean. I mean, it's not perfect. I think if I had to rank these these figures from worst to best, I would go Dax at the bottom, then Cash, then MJF, then Sean, then Wardlow. But I'm a big Wardlow guy. I like Wardlow. I like the figure a lot. The Sean Spears figure is really damn good, though. I like the tattoo and the sleeve and everything he's got going on. This MJF would be up there, but his head sculpt sucks. But yeah, that's how I'd rank those guys. But then you gotta take a look at what? The Pinnacle versus the Inner Circle. So let's go ahead and look at that. And here is the shot that we have waited, what, two years for? Something like that. I don't know. That's rich coming from you, Brad. Others have waited years for you to do another updated shot of the MDT arena with figures wrestling in it, you dumb piece of shit. But here is, uh, you know, the, this convolution of figures here. These ten figures we waited for a while on. To get these in hand, to see these here, very good stuff. You know, finally completed. Now we just need a blood and guts or steel cage set. That's something I'd like to see. I'd like to see a crowdfund project from AEW and Jazzwares, but I don't I don't know if I trust that shish. I don't I don't know. Or stadium stand pizza. I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know if they could I, I don't know. Did they pull the weight of that? I don't know. I think people would fear probably of quality and staining and things of that nature, man. So I, I don't know about that. I'd like to see it, you know. I'd, 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 I'd believe in them enough to go forward with it and fund it and like back it. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. But for accessories with this guy or for FTR, you do get this screaming head sculpt and then you get this straight head sculpt or this kind of just smug sort of cash head sculpt, which this one looks like cash. This one doesn't really look that much like Dax, to be honest. But you do get these interchangeable head sculpts you get a screaming head and a straight faced head for both guys and then you get no interchangeable hands with Dax but you do get Mike holding and fist with cash our next figure in this set is going to be Moxley man and they do have a new head sculpt here which I guess it's passable for Moxley. It doesn't have like a lot of characters characterization going on, but it does have a thicker beard. It's different. It's a little bit darker hair, it looks like, than previous. I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite of all time. But he does have this mock shirt. Love the shirt. I think it's a great shirt, but you guys know as well as I do when you pull this off, there's it's going to be stained, bro. I've checked out other people's reviews, and I already know that it's going to be stained up. And the plastic, yeah, it is stained. It's absolutely stained, and that sucks eggs. So if you're going to buy this Mox, man. You're gonna have to torso swap it, man. So, like, the plastic stuff doesn't really do anything. Mine's not a, as egregious as other people's that I've seen. Let's get this plastic off here. And one thing that I'm kind of noticing is he kind of feels tighter than he did before. Like, his previous figures. But like I said, I love the shirt. He also comes with interchangeable hands, fists, and mic holding hands, which we've seen, or you know, just open grappling hands. But there's a little bit of staining here on the shoulder. You can't really see it. But mine's not near as bad as everybody else's, but there's definitely staining here. Again, can't really see it on camera that well but 
it's there, man. It's definitely there. If you're not a big Mox fan, you may want to skip this or buy this and then torso swap it with your other Moxes. But I, I like these pants. You got the green belt. You got the silver in here. You got pockets sculpted on here. These are new pants. These actually are new pants. You have like zippers and, you know, pockets and stuff sculpted on here. You got some patchwork like Braun Strowman. They're in a black color. I do believe these actually might be new sculpted boots, I think. Like this part right here. No, these are the same sculpted boots. They're not, they're not new. But if you guys actually, let, let's zoom in here. Here's the other mox legs so like they're definitely new they're definitely new like the the sculpts are different you don't have like all the pockets and stuff like that but you do have uh, the little zipper the little pouch right there and then you have the little pockets on there but then if we want to get into our mox figure comparisons here so here's all of our different moxes i don't have the series 5 chase unboxed but the series 2 chase is pretty much the exact same as the shop exclusive and the unrivaled series 2 but uh for your comparisons here's the unrivaled 8 the unrivaled 5 regular version, the Unrivaled 2, the Unrivaled 12, the Shop AEW exclusive, the Ringside exclusive, Exploding Barbar Deathmatch, and then you have then you have the Chase from Unrivaled 5 and the Chase from Unrivaled 2 that I don't have. And I think that's all the Moxes. I could be wrong about that. Oh yeah, the Unrivaled 8 Chase. I have that men on card. I don't have it loose as well, so I know I was missing something in there. But, you know, amongst all these, like, I love the figures themselves. I wish they weren't so loose, man. Like, all of these, these Moxes are just so loose, and people want a, a a mox that is just that is that is really good posability wise like i'm at the point now where i don't really want to pose this guy around man like he's got to stay stationary because like he actually does feel tighter like this leg is tight i don't trust it to stay tight over time but he's definitely tighter than these he's definitely tighter than these and the height issue he's a little bit taller than the fix up unravel 2 we made so i don't know which one is more accurate to be honest with you i know he's supposed to be what 62 or 63 but he also has his tattoo on here which is cool he's got his little rose tattoo right there but dude i don't freaking know man there's just like i want to there, there's some AEW figures that blow me out of the water i'm like damn this is such a good figure and then some i'm like dude i don't even want to pose this guy around because he's going to be ruined and the legs are going to be loose like if i ever want to pose this guy around in a match or something like that you're going to have to create a custom out of ultimate edition parts or something to make sure that it's not super duper loose but anyways i like the mox i i enjoy mox i love his figures but they're just like unusable and it's very sad to see but yeah that's your john moxley figure all right guys now we're moving on to private party arguably the figures i was probably most excited for coming into this set i like that they don't have the exact same skin tone i like how mark quinn has a slightly darker skin tone than isaiah cassidy i think that's accurate to real life i like their life of the party shirts it says life of the party you have like the, this reminds me of like world industries or something private party down here reminds me of like vice city or something like i, I like all this man i think these shirts are nice they are velcro in the back i do want to see what they look like without their shirts on because you know i want to see what the torso looks like and and no other reason i can't tell if this is a new body mold i want to say it's a new body mold but one thing that i've found dude is they have like no ab crunch whatsoever like if you try to ab crunch them they're they're coming right off look at that like they have no back bend either man i'm really disappointed in the articulation on these guys and also i don't like their likeness i just i don't know man i don't really see isaiah cassidy right here i think bw could like repaint these head sculpts and they'd look a whole lot better but they do have their chains on here they do have tattoo de details on here you got a lion tattoo right there and then on the other side you do have statue of liberty and like uh, the tattoos look good the torso doesn't look bad for them you know they're lean individuals they're lean guys but i just feel like there's no ab crunch here like whatsoever no ab crunch like at all you cannot bend these guys forward at all and their torsos pop off but i do like their chains i almost feel like this is like on upside down it's got a good gold color but i feel like if i do this yeah look at that it fits way better what is that there you go that looks a whole lot better but you have these black tights here white stripes you got some silver dots going around i think this is a new leg mold like i don't think this is reused i guess you could put the bucks on here if you wanted to but he has individually like shoe he has like both of them have individual shoe sculpts that are not the same and i haven't looked at their shoes but i'm sure they're wearing some si sort of kicks that i know of i just haven't investigated it or anything so i'm un i'm unaware there but he does have lower leg articulation double jointed legs upper thigh cut he can do the splits and all that stuff but I don't know, man. These figures, right now, they're kind of disappointing me. And he also comes with these sunglasses here that have gold trim, which are pretty cool. But getting into Mark Quinn, I don't know. This Something I noticed is his hair. I love his hair, but I think that 
did he actually have gold hair, like painted on gold hair or something? But or is it just blonde? Am I insane? I could have swore it was just blonde hair on this side and then then you know black on the other side. Again, I could be wrong. I I could have swore though that it's not gold. They legitimately have this man having gold hair, like it, it like it's shiny, like his necklace and his sunglasses. And again, it could be accurate. I'm just I wanted to call that into question, but I think this head sculpt also doesn't really look like Mark Quinn. You know, I feel like they gave these guys like this head sculpt, like the Isaiah Cassidy looks like Jordan Poole. You're gonna tell me that's not Jordan Poole? This is a Jordan Poole figure. And then this one over here? Hmm, let me, let me think on it. Something's coming in my brain, but I can't quite specify. If he was bald-headed, like if you took his hair off, like what, who's he look like right there? That looks like somebody, man. I can't place it, but it's somebody. But I don't know, man. I like the figure. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I enjoy the stuff that we got going on right here. You got white wrist tape. You have white t-shirt, white wrist tape on there that is sculpted. And then you have the same pants sculpt, but it is in white, but it has black. I think I like the white pants with black instead. And what's cool about these figures, like, he does have his own shoe mold. And what makes me think, I, like, I'm gonna go back and check photos, and I'll confirm it in the video, but the way these shoes are sculpted, I think feel like I can almost guarantee what shoes these are, and it's, I mean, like, I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark. I'm going to guess that they are either Kyrie 6s or they're KD 7s, and I'm gonna look up the images and try to confirm, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna guess it based on the sculpt alone. I've not seen photos, I haven't done any investigation, but their shoe molds are different, as you guys can see. Obviously, Isaiah Cassidy's are too generic, I can't tell, but these having the strap right there and around the time of this figure and stuff like that, it makes me think it's gonna be a, a Kyrie 6 is what I'm thinking it is, but I could be wrong about that, but we will, we will, we shall see, but one thing I also wanted to do was take this figure, pop off the torso here, and then if you guys wanted to see what Isaiah Cassidy would look like in the white, you could easily do that. That's probably what I'm going to do is buy another set of these guys, and then have uh, both guys in black and both guys in white, just to see, but that's pretty cool right there. I enjoy that, so yeah, there is, uh, there's your private party, and then I guess if you guys wanted to see Mark Quinn in the black gear, you could also do that. These guys also have the same torsos from what I'm seeing here so yeah there yeah i don't know i like i kind of like the black gear too so yeah i'm definitely gonna do that but let's pop these back off but uh, let's pop these off and then get into some figure comparisons. So for Private Party, you do have Matt Hardy here. So you got Matt Hardy and Private Party. But there they are up next to each other. I think they get to, dude, now I cannot stop seeing Jordan Poole. That's all I see when I see this figure. I am looking at Jordan Poole in figure form right here. Don't get, like, don't, don't test me. But, yeah, I mean, it, it's solid. It's definitely solid. I like these guys. They're just not my favorite of all time, but we'll see. Like, I enjoy them in real life. I'm just saying, as far as their figures, I think they could have been much better here. So getting into Jamie Hayter, I I actually like this figure a lot. I think the head sculpt is decent enough. You know, I, I think it needs a little bit more brown in the hair and stuff like that. And they also tried something very unique here with the torso in which they pretty much added like this little piece cover right here to be like, you know, the little abdomen piece, which I think is pretty clever as far as adding this little rubber piece as like an additional, you know, like as part of her top. But you can actually like remove this. So if you guys don't like that on there. Also, her, her waist pops off incredibly easy, but just to showcase a little bit here, uh, it's hard to do, but but God in heaven, I can't get it, but <laughs> basically what's annoying about this figure is if you do any ab crunch at all, her whole entire waist is going to pop off, so just look, look at that right there. That's crazy, man. Like, you're gonna have to hold this and then ab cruncher forward, but even then, it's not gonna really work for you. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna pop off. So that is something I've noticed here. Aesthetically, figure looks good. Like, you got her tattoos on here. You got some wrist tape. Uh, figure aesthetically looks pretty good. You guys know AEW with their cheekage on their figures. They always do this. So, uh, you got the cheekage. You got her tattoo here on her thigh. You do have, like, her legs, leg bands or straps over here. All painted on nice. Like, I like the figure aesthetically. I think it looks good. The boots look good. I like the sculpt here on the boots with the chains you even get some like boot material or like texturing right here Got the black and white, the white and black. Knee pads look good. She articulates fine, except for the ab crunch. I can't stand this ab crunch. And also, she comes with like these relaxed style hands. She comes with fisted hands, and she comes with like standard mic holding hands. Uh, not a lot of good accessories in this set, to be honest with you. You get the, like Private Party's t-shirts are the best by far. And then you have Mox's shirt. You have the sunglasses and necklaces that come with Private Party. But as far as Jamie Hayter's concerned, you just get hands. And then her, her freaking chase figure has a jacket, for the love of God. God. And that is it. So, but yeah, like if you diaphragm her here, she's okay. But as soon as you go to ab crunch forward, her waist is gonna pop off. But look at that right there. T to the side, just to give you guys an example, I'm going to try and just do an ab crunch here, and it pops off. So that is uh, not ideal. I was trying to like pop 
the top part off so I can get rid of this piece here. So you guys can see this whole piece here. I might cut that off, but I don't think it's really gonna do much for you. And like, God in heaven! I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. But anyway, let's get into some figure comparisons. Yeah, this Jamie Hayter figure aesthetically is fine, but she cannot like move really uh, as far as ab crunch. She's almost like an elite and a basic put together. But for your AEW women's figure comparison, you do have Ruby Riot or Ruby Soho with Jamie Hayter and Britt Baker just to kind of show off the sizing and stuff like that. Not my favorite figure by far, but it looks good up next to these, I'd say. I don't know her exact height, but... I also think some lipstick or something on her lips would probably add some detail to the face. Maybe darken up the eyebrows a bit. I don't know. I'm just throwing shish at the wall, but... That does it for your Jamie Hayter figure comparisons. All right, man, it is finally the time to rank this set from worst to best, in my own honest opinion. And I'd love to know down in the comment section below whether you guys prefer the two-in-ones or you like this long-winded style review of just everything in one. Does it happen often? It happens with pay-per-view sets, build-a-figure sets, stuff like that. But I figured it was due today, man. It was due today. This this set right here, I, I just don't know. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up. And rank this set from worst to best. So coming into the bottom of the ranking, we have Dax Harwood. I mean, could it be anyone else, Brad? We've discussed it. I just think this is easily the worst figure in a set. It's just... Aesthetically, the figure doesn't look good. I don't like the elbow brace as accurate as it, as it is. I just, I, I don't, I don't like it. The knee brace falls off. It's pretty much the Unrivaled 7. We're getting it again five series later. It's just very hard to agree with having this figure any higher than dead last, in my honest opinion. Also, the head sculpts are the worst in the set. I, I prefer the Jordan Poole head sculpt over that. Next up is... Cash Wheeler, again, man, it's a better version, or it's a better figure than this, for sure, but it has the same problems as Dax, it looks just like his last figure, which isn't really in his, in his, it's not really his fault, but it's just, it's just oh, man. Coming in at number four, we have the Jamie Hayter figure, the reason the Jamie Hayter's here, man, having the waist pop off every time I try to do anything is really, really annoying, and she has no accessories, it's just like, what, ugh. I like Jamie Hayter, but Christ on a bike, man. Next up, we have the Unrivaled 12 Jordan Pool figure. In all seriousness, I like this figure. I don't think the head sculpt looks anything like him, but I feel like his feet look a bit big or something. And I don't like that him and Mark Quinn both, like, struggle with their ab crunch. I just, I, I don't know, man. I'm kind of slightly disappointed in Private Party's figures here, but I still enjoy them. Coming in at number two, this might shock you, but we have the John Moxley figure. I mean, I am really, I, like, I'm trying to base this on a lot of stuff, man. If, if you guys don't know the criteria for the ranking excitement level for the figure feel in hand likeness to the character on tv head sculpt accessories posability feel in hand all these things come into fruition here in the ranking like they go into the criteria i respect that they tightened up the legs i actually like these pants it's very similar to his last figures my staining's not as bad the standing is a huge issue i don't really care for the head sculpts but Collectively, this figure is better than the previous four, in my personal opinion. And I know we've had so many moxes, but he he is better than these figures. I'd rather have the mox than the rest of these, considering all these others' issues. And then number one, I think, is Mark Quinn. I like the Mark Quinn figure. His feet are slightly smaller than Isaiah Cassidy. It looks a bit better aesthetically. You guys know I love white gear. I love the white Life of the Party shirt or the Private Party shirt. I know him and Cassidy have the same exact accessories, but I prefer the Mark Quinn. I also like his hair, even though it's like dipped in 24 karat gold for some reason. I still prefer his figure over the... Cassidy figure, and uh, I stand by that. So, this is my ranking. Kind of difficult to rank. Not really, though. I just I think Unrivaled 12 collectively is not the best wave ever. I think that these are probably going to be hanging around until the Black Friday sale at the end of the year. I could be wrong about that, but I think we will be looking at that. I think a lot of these are going to warm shelves, and I worry about that, but we will have to see what comes of all of that. But I want to know down below what you guys' thoughts are on all these figures down in the comment section below. I would like to know. Before we get out of here, huge shout out to our patron army. Thank you guys so very much to our patrons over there on the MDT Patreon. Click the link in the description below if you guys are interested in something like that. But I am getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts on Unrivaled 12 down in the comment section below. Where would you rank these figures? How? Where do you stand on these? Did you get these yourselves? I'd like to know down below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you on the flip.